Tomo News presents Weird Things in Japan. Smart Device tells you when it's toilet time. Japanese company Triple W has invented D Free, a device that keeps track of your bowel movements and tells you when you need to visit the bathroom. The device targets those who suffer from fecal incontinence, the disabled, the elderly, and those who simply need more time to find the bathroom. It's worn on your abdomen and monitors your bowel movements by emitting ultrasonic waves to your internal organs. The device then collects the data and sends it to an app on your smartphone. The app will then send you notifications, telling you the estimated time of your next bathroom visit. The device may also prove itself useful for toilet training, although its inventors have yet to find a suitable way to attach it to a toddler. Japan's aging population has led to a transformation of the elder care industry. By the year 2060, two out of every five people in Japan will be age 65 or older. Shrink wrapped whole suckling pig available in Japan supermarkets. Warning pig lovers, discretion is advised. Remember how we all used to adore this lovely talking piglet babe? How we won everyone's heart and gave us the courage to explore the world? I know, pink piglets are super cute. But wait, entire shrink wrapped suckling piglets are now on sale in Japanese supermarkets. Okay, okay, I do love pork cutlets and Japanese hot pot with pork, but to see an entire wrapped suckling pig in the supermarket is a completely different story. As a meat eater, I might sound like a hypocrite when I say this, but yeah, it's kind of unsettling. Eating poor little babe isn't cheap. A whole suckling pig costs 30,000 Japanese yen. That's about 280 US dollars. A suckling pig is a baby pig that is slaughtered between the ages of two and six weeks and traditionally is roasted whole for special occasions. A new fad is sweeping Japan, eyeball licking. Yes, that's right, eyeball licking, where one person, usually an impressionable teenager, unrolls his or her tongue and swabs another person's bare naked eyeball with it. The kids are so into it that they even do it at school. But why? Oh, why? You might ask yourself. Well, it seems that slobbering all over the bazillions of nerves in the cornea feels good. It's like a new second base or something. And some folks believe this is the music video that set the craze ablaze. There are dangers associated with eyeball licking, which is also called worming or oculolinctus if you're a grown up. Doctors are reporting increased rates of conjunctivitis and, most disturbingly, eye chlamydia. I bet you didn't know that existed. Will this phenomenon spread to the US? Keep your eyes peeled, or don't. Japanese women go bananas over hunky gorilla. A gorilla has stolen the hearts of women all over Japan. A western lowland gorilla named Shibani has got tons of women regularly flocking towards Higashiyama Zoo and botanical gardens in Nagoya. According to the Chunichi Shimbun, zoo officials said that the number of female visitors to the zoo has increased exponentially due to Shabani's popularity on Twitter, where women post pictures of the gorilla and say he is extremely handsome. Shabani was formerly from the Netherlands, grew up in Australia, then moved to Japan in 2007, where he has now earned the nickname Ikemen, which is Japanese for good looking man. Don't agree? Well, look into that dark, brooding face. Look at his eyes, dark and piercing. Would you look at the guns on him? Step aside, Donkey Kong. Now we have Hunky Kong. And this one does not need to kidnap princesses. They go to him willingly. Unfortunately, you'd have to trek to Japan if you want to see Shibani. If you're already in Japan, visit the Higashiyama Zoo and Botanical Gardens and join the rest of the swooning girls. New Japanese hotel is controlled almost entirely by robots. A hotel that is run almost completely by robots has opened in Japan. The Hena Hotel, which means weird hotel in English, has opened in Nagasaki. Approximately 80 robots manage a variety of services at the hotel, including carrying the guests' bags. Rooms also use facial recognition to allow patrons entry instead of a key. There are also plans for drones to be used to bring meals to guests in the future. A high tech system also gauges how hot or cold guests are and adjusts the temperature accordingly. 
There are only roughly 10 human employees at the hotel who monitor security and cleaning services, reducing costs for human staff by three-fourths. Japan's latest meme craze has people squeezing babies' faces. A new meme has exploded on Japanese social media. It involves squeezing a baby's face to make it look like onigiri, or Japanese rice balls, which are actually sometimes made to look like faces. It all seems to have started back in June, when Japanese comedian Ihara Masahiro posted pictures of his own children, with his hands gripped tightly around them to squish the baby's fat chubby faces. Most people loved it and thought it looked really cute, so he posted an instructional video where he, well, squeezed his baby's face with his hands in a triangular shape. And since humans have an innate desire to squeeze cute things, netizens across Japan started memeing and taking out their cute aggression on their baby's faces, documenting it, and sharing it on social media for the world to see. Then, adults started trying to make their own faces look like rice balls, or rice balling each other, their pets, and inanimate objects. The popular meme was even featured on Japanese TV. Some compared the meme to other things besides rice balls, like a blobfish or a character from popular Japanese cartoon Kobidos named Hiding Peach Bottom. This kid doesn't even need any help. His face already looks like onigiri. It hasn't really caught on anywhere else, probably because onigiri is a traditionally Japanese food, but this lady living in Malaysia must be a fan of Kobidos. Some of the babies don't look very happy as rice balls, so what do you think? Is the rice ball baby mean cuteness overload or child abuse? Let us know in the comments below. Sick beauty! A new makeup trend is taking Japan by storm. How would you define beauty? Would how healthy a person looks factor into your definition? Well, apparently it wouldn't at all for today's Japanese high schoolers. Following on the heels of the popular confused face makeup from a few years ago, Japanese teenagers nowadays like to apply makeup in a way that makes them look like an aged doll, as well as emaciated and ill. Say hello to sick face makeup. Japanese pop idol and Nogizaka 46 member Shirai Shimai is a natural when it comes to looking both sickly and beautiful. You could even say she was born to be the perfect ambassador of the sick face makeup look thanks to her deathly pale skin and large eyes. Numerous Japanese websites and magazines now include guides to teach teens how to apply the makeup style. Apparently, the key is perfectly horizontal doll-like eyebrows and eerily pale skin. But if that's too difficult, as long as you look both innocent and pitiful, you're good. Shirai Shimai looks great when she's sporting the style, but results vary when your average Japanese girl tries it on for size. What do you think? Freakishly lifelike cat handbags take Japan by storm. Hello, cat lovers. You might be pleased to know that it is now considered trendy to wear your cats. A Japanese housewife known as Pico designed a line of lifelike cat handbags which have taken Japan by storm. These adorable handbags, which are freakishly lifelike to some, are handmade by Pico and are selling at extremely high prices. For example, this multicolored cat handbag is listed at 83,000 yen, or about $700, on Yahoo Auction, and more than 100 people have placed their bids. Cat lovers outside Japan may be disappointed because the designer does not want to ship these handbags overseas. Better start saving up for a handbag and a trip to Japan. Faceless Selfies – New Japanese Trend Pictures of your eye makeup? Old school! What's the latest? Let's check it out in Japan! Faceless selfies showing colorful hair and exaggerating long nails are now popular among Japanese girls. But others outside Japan might think they are weird, like this situation. <laughs> well, no comment there. It is creative. Oops. Some people might disagree. Taiwanese girls say Japanese girls are copying them. Taiwan was the first, not Japan. Quiet Japanese village, home to more dolls than actual villagers. There's something weird happening in the sleepy Japanese mountain hamlet of Nagaro. Deaths, a declining national birth rate and depopulation have seen countryside communities like this one wither. 
For years, the young have been abandoning villages like Nagoro, heading to the cities in search of better job opportunities, acutely aware of whatever dreams they have will surely fade and die were they to remain. But dreams often give way to the cruel realities of life. Some of the young people may turn to a life of prostitution, servicing drunken salarymen doing their best to avoid neurotic wives and emotionally distant children. Today, Nagoro is home to a lonely number of just 35 survivors, those who lack either the means or wish to live. Their only company, a growing legion of canvas mannequins who outnumber the living three to one. These dolls are the work of Tsukimi Aono, a 65-year-old woman who has returned to Nagaro to care for her elderly father having moved to Osaka decades ago. Tsukimi is one of the town's youngest residents. They bring back memories, she says, of the scarecrows which leer at visitors from unchanging vantage points. Their dead eyes seeing your every move, their strange, unnatural poses making you feel ill at ease. That old lady used to come and chat and drink tea. That old man used to love to drink sake and tell stories. It reminds me of the old times, when they were still alive and well. There is little sign Nagaro's population will ever be replenished. It is a museum, honoring a better time when towns like it buzzed with activity.